is a seven time winner of the Uncle Toby's Iron Man series, world Iron Man champion, marathon swimming champion, three time Coolin Gatta gold champion, world ocean surf ski champion, avid descent paddling champion, Guinness World Record holder, philanthropist, entrepreneur, father of two, Australia's number one fitness guy, winner of Australian Celebrity Survivor and the man single-handedly responsible for me smashing thousands of boxes of nutri grain as a young fella. Guy Leach. <laughs> good intro. How are you, mate? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Did I miss anything on that one? Oh, look, I could brag and say there's a few other things, but we're, mate, we're, we're talking for a while, so maybe they'll come up. Well, feel free to <laughs> drop them in there, Guy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, Guy, a lot of people... Uh, might not realize this, but we have a couple of things in common. Mm-hmm. The number one thing which I'm very interested in talking to you about is we are both winners of Australian Survivor. Correct. And uh, and funnily enough, like there's been a couple of seasons in the last, you know, sort of five or six years that for some reason I haven't watched and I jumped in on the All-Star series this year and, and was just embedded in the whole the whole drama and the excitement of it all. And um so, mate, it was a good one. And, uh, yeah, so you and I have both got uh, something very, very similar in common, that we've both won Survivor, which is unreal. Winner, winner, win chicken dinner. Now, your game was 100%. slightly different to the one uh, I played. Uh, you guys went in with 12 people, if if, uh, if I'm correct. I think it was a 12. Yeah, well, it, it was a shorter version. So, I think um, – so, just if we go back a step, I actually mm. got rung up by the uh, – the casting agency to do your season of Survivor, believe it or not, the All Stars. Really? So, so I could have been out there, um, out there on the beach in the jungles, competing against you. Oh wow! Yeah, I wonder so how that would have gone. And, <laughs> and I don't know, well, who knows? Man, who knows? Who knows? I mean, you did, you did a good job. Were you tempted? Was there? Were you tempted to jump in? Yeah, I was. I was, and. Um, so just a bit of background, so for everyone listening. So I won Celebrity Survivor, and I know how long ago it was because my, my, my daughter, my youngest daughter, was born that year. But, mate, people started crying in the shelter. Oh, those nights are just hell, aren't they? Whimpering going on. People were shaking cold. But I kept saying to myself, this is good. Yeah. You want people to hurt that bad so they put their hand up and go, I want to go home. And no joke, two people put their hand up by about one or two in the morning and said, if we go to tribal council, get me out of here. I want out. So, so I was fine <laughs> for a week just based on two people in our um, in our tribe were literally like just happy to go up wanting to go home. Oh, man, and look, that. so I tried desperately to find some kind of videos or YouTube, but it's it's scarce. Have you got a DVD copy or, or I just couldn't figure out how I could actually watch yeah, it? Yeah, I have. Oh. You might have to send me a copy of that guy because I'm desperate to check it out. But uh, I did read the synopsis for the season and one of the first things I read that I thought was hilarious is that somebody actually voted for themselves on one of those early votes. Could you imagine by celebrities turning up? <laughs> they're getting paid to go there. Um, you know, and so, so their, their, their manager said, this would be good for your profile. They've never watched Survivor. Yeah. And they turn up. Yeah. Like, there was a Brutal. couple like that. And, and I, I, I found them early. I played yeah. down what I knew, yeah. just played the nice guy and was just the uplifting sort of Anthony Robbins, pick people up when they were down type bloke just to, Good lad, just to yeah. try to Great just hang in there to the merge. Yeah. And, um, and, and you know, it worked. And, the, and these people were literally like, you're telling me this is what Survivor's about? And I'm like, well, didn't you watch any episodes? No, I haven't seen anything. And, oh, jeez. Uh, so you would have loved it. Now, the other thing we are uh, bonded on is that you are an Ironman champion. I am an Ironman virgin, but was technically signed <laughs> up to do an Ironman this year. Uh, Matt Rogers runs uh, this television show, Maxing Out, and I signed up to do Roth in Germany. Uh, dodged a massive bullet on that one because COVID oh, has shut everything nice. down. Oh, you would have heard that thing. That's, My, is that uh, a full length? Is that the full length oh, Ironman? That's, that's, the, that's the whole enchilada. The whole shit. Oh, um, My you would have, Don't worry about having both. By the time you got your train for that, yeah. <laughs> Man. You got a lean, I, mean fighting machine. Your hours you got to do on a bike to just be able to get off a bike and then try to run a oh, marathon. Oh man, it's frightening. Yeah, frightening. frightening. So if there was something positive that came out of this crisis, uh, COVID crisis for me, it has been uh, not having to do Roth. 
you need to dodge him, Matt Rogers, as much as you can. <laughs> no, and just he's... ring big on the deal. Just <laughs> ring big. <laughs> <laughs> his, his trouble, his trouble. Um, so, mate, you, you've you pioneered this, I suppose. Like, you're one of the first people to win Australian Survivor. You're one of the first people to win a professional Ironman race, and that's the Cool and Gatter Gold, correct? In 1984, I want to say. Is that the first one? And I want to race based on a movie. So, literally, a script came out with <clears throat> that was about two brothers that wanted to be the Ironman champion at the time in the 80s, Grant Kenny was famous for being an Ironman champion yeah. and was on the the, uh, the, the, the cover of the Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Pack. Yeah. And this this movie that was going to be the next big thing after Mad Max um, needed a final race that was befitting of uh, this movie, this yeah. script. And so they, uh, the movie was called The Cooling Out of Gold and they came up with this torturous race that was similar to, to actually competing on Survivor. Yeah. It was just out of this world. And so, uh, you know, everyone's been to the Gold Coast at some stage of their life. Like, yeah. imagine starting at Surface Paradise and you had to get up to Coolangatta in, in the middle of summer in January in the heat and you had to swim, run and paddle your way up there, then turn and do the same uh, all the way back. Yeah. Um, 46 kilometres of Unbelievable. torture <laughs> and like swimming five kilometres in the ocean and running, you know, nearly 20K on the beach and all this sort of stuff. And they put <clears throat> they put $20,000 in gold bullion in 1984 on the first place. They invited That's pretty badass. around the world. Yeah, it was good. 